Hi, I am Ocarina Caro and I'm gonna show you how to make an L2C Ocarina. First you need to have clay. I have white clay and then I cut it with a metallic wire. I use uh, around a pound or a pound and a half for my L2C Ocarinas. We have to push on the clay to make sure to remove all the air bubbles, otherwise our work can explode into the kiln. It happened to me several times and I changed uh, some uh, uh, several methods uh, into the making. Also I have a cardboard to clean my table each time I flip the clay. It's because I have uh, a kind of um, paint on my table. It's better to have uh, plain wood. I have two wooden sticks to make sure I have the good thickness. And their diameter is about um, one centimeter. I have a roller to put on the clay. It's perfect. I remove the lines. Okay, now I cut it with a knife. I try to have uh, two near uh, triangle forms. Here is my plaster mold I made uh, several months ago. We have to put it into the mold with this line on the outside of the mold. With this line. We have to be careful when we do this because it's important to not tear the clay but not push too hard because we, ha we will change the chamber volume. It's hard to have two times the same chamber volume with this method but it's an easy method. I am filling the mouthpiece with more clay. I added slip just before because I had some ocarinas which has been uh, exploding into the kiln at the same place. So uh, it's very important to add slip at this step. I am smoothing the inside of the chamber and then I will cut it with the wire. I push with my thumbs from the middle to the outside three times so on the ends outside and the last one. It's important to clean the wire between each step because it's very messy. Now, we have to wait around an hour to make sure the moisture is uh, absorbed by the plaster mold. As you can see, I have a, a spot here to make the sand hole. It's a guide. I 
I use a drill bit to drill the hole. It's not the best way to get a sound hole. It's better to punch the hole instead of pushing all the clay on the side of the hole. Here is my tool to make the wind way. It's flat on this side. This is an easy method, but it's not precise. It's better to include the wind way into the mold. Maybe it will be a change I will do in the future, but for now it's working for me, but um, it's not very precise. I'm smoothing the clay with my finger. I'm pushing the slot stick into the wind weight to give it a shape and also I push the clay on the side of the wind weight surrounding the slot stick. It's important to take your time at this step because it's very important to have a, a smooth windway. The walls of the windway must be very very smooth. I'm pushing with my knife on the slot stick to put pressure on it. It's good. I'm removing some extra clay. I use a drill bit, but only the smooth surface of the drill bit, the handle. It's to give the hole a better shape. It's better like this. You see, I'm going to use a teardrop so the teardrop shape is the one I chose for the example. I will put a mark into the clay with the handle of this drill bit to make sure it's best aligned with the, the wind way. You can see it's into the middle. It will be okay for your airstream. So I'm giving it a shape. If the ocarina was little hard, it could be very easy to uh, cut with a knife, but here uh, it's too smooth to do it. It 
it's not symmetrical. I'm pushing on the clay to make sure it is symmetrical. It's better, but it is not perfect. Really not. In this video I will reshape several times uh, the sound hole because of the softness of the clay which is not uh, something I usually do because I wait several hours to make sure it's leader hard. I'm putting some slip to fill the wind way. I'm giving it a shape, cylinder shape, and I add some slip to make sure it's very smooth. It will be the wind way after all. Okay, here it's very important to put pressure on the clay, but you have to begin at the sound hole and then push until you you reach the end of the mouthpiece and then you smooth all the clay it's okay if you have clay on the sound hole we will remove it later the sound hole. We have to clean it uh, to make sure the inner surface of the chamber is aligned with the slot stick. And we have to remove uh, the slot stick this way to be careful to not break the mouthpiece. Here is uh, two drill bits. I will use the bigger one to push on the clay. It will block the wind way, but it's okay. The slot stick would go through. And it's misaligned. We will fix that by pushing the clay near the sloth stick. It's not a good option, but it's working. I'm cutting the clay. We don't see anything because I work behind the other screen. Good. The autofocus is very annoying. <laughs> uh, almost done, so I am correcting the angle of the, the sound hole. Oh, we have uh, a little bump of clay just here. If it's here, it's also on the other side. We have to check that. It's time to work on the outer side of the ocarina.
You see the little crack? It's because we added clay while making the mouthpiece and we have to smooth it with the knife. Sometimes I add slip but the, the clay is very smooth. It's not symmetrical. So I'll, I will push on the clay just here. It's a lot better. I remove a lump of clay. Autofocus. The slot stick is not really exactly aligned with the surface of the inner chamber. It has a slightly little angle. Perfect! Now I cut the outside with a bigger angle. It's very important. And after drying a little bit, I will recut this part. I will redo the, the, the cutting of this part. I put the two halves together to realign if needed. In this case, yes, I need because the clay is very soft. I'm gonna use my nails to put marks on the fresh clay to do the holes. Also, I need to avoid to have the sound hole and the wind way in line with the hole, so I will mark the clay with a, a needle tool. Oh! I put a mark and both are uh, joining together, so I have to change my finger marks. I'm smoothing the clay. Do not be confused uh, between uh, the marks. So it's okay with this line. And also it's important to make sure we have the right thumb hole between the first and the middle finger. I'm drawing the hole.
Okay, now I'm ready to drill the holes. I only use a few drill bits to do this. For the first hole, it's important to give it an angle because if it's uh, perpendicular to uh, the surface, you will be into the clay. You will not be into the chamber. As you can see, we are okay. I always know which one I have to use to make sure I'm near the good whole size but always a little bit smaller than uh, the final size it will be useful uh, when tuning it's easier to remove clay than to add clay focus <laughs> can't stop zooming de zooming zooming de zooming and now I do the same for the thumb holes. And I use the handle of my knife to to smoothen the inside of uh, the holes and also to um, enlarge them. Okay, so now I'm doing the undercut, but uh, only a rough version of undercut because I will uh, redo them with a wooden tool. It's not very clean, so here's the wooden tool. I use it like a spoon into a good ice cream. It's very easy to do. Very clean undercuts. Also, I do the same with the other half. Ice cream spoon. I feel hungry. Ta da! Okay. Now we are ready to join the two halves to the together. I'm putting some slip on one side. I will do the same for the other side. Joining the halves together. I'm pushing to make sure it's uh, sticking together. I smooth the surface with my fingers and then with the handle of my knife.
it's done so now I cut a piece of the mud piece to have a clean line here it is it's beautiful but I need to redo some part of uh, the voicing like I said before I'm working a second time on this part I want to give a smoother angle and also I want to smooth the surface it's important to have a clean knife wow beautiful I use the handle of my drill bits to smoothen the inside of my holes I'm doing it fast because uh, I don't have a lot of time for the video and it's ready for tuning On the tuner you can see it's between B and B flat so my clay has a shrinkage rate of 10 to 12 percent and from fresh clay to fired clay we gain a tone or just a little under one tone so uh, three quart tone we can say it's important to start from the lowest no note to the highest note while we are tuning to make sure uh, it's coherent we have to clean more the sound hole a little bit Now we are going to remove some clay from the mouthpiece and uh, several places on the ocarina. I like to make big mouthpiece at, at first because uh, uh, we have less cracks while drying to get the little hard uh, stage. So when we cut it at the end, we make sure we have uh, less um, exploding into the kiln and also less crack as you can see I'm drawing a kind of a rectangle and I'll remove uh, the clay around this uh, rectangle following the line of the mouthpiece
I'm cutting the end of the mouthpiece. It was too long. And also, if it's too long and slim, it can break. Here is the result. Now, we have to smooth the surface with a wet sponge. I remove the excess of water. I simply rub the sponge all over the ocarina and we have to be careful to not put too much slip uh, inside the holes. At first, I really um, put water on the surface of the ocarina and then I put pressure on the sponge to smooth the surface and remove also uh, uh, the marks I made uh, between the holes. So we have to clean the holes and for this I use uh, the needle tool We have to clean the tool between each hole. I'm smoothing the surface of uh, uh, the edge of the, the thumb holes because it's not very comfortable and this way it's more comfortable and we have more stability. sound test thanks for watching